Developing at 430, a former Kissimmee City Commissioner and candidate in the 2022 District 4 race for Osceola County Commission is now facing serious charges related to campaign law violations. On Friday, deputies arrested Carlos Irizarry after a complaint was filed by a candidate in the same race. Today, his former opponent is speaking out. New 6's Carolina Cardona joins us live now. And Carolina, what is that former opponent saying about the investigation? Well, Ginger Irizarry is facing charges for not reporting properly money that he received during his 2022 candidacy. Now, the former, his, one of his former opponents, Jackie Espinosa, says this all stems from a criminal complaint that she filed last year. Their intent was and still is clear, and that was to disenfranchise not only the Latino voter, but all voters within our community. Jackie Espinosa, former 2022 candidate for Osceola County's Commission Seat 4, speaking out after the arrest of one of her opponents, Carlos Irizarry. From the very beginning, it was clear I was not going to stand down. I would stand on principle and fight the injustice perpetrated by a few individuals within our community. After Espinosa lost to incumbent Cheryl Grebe, she filed a lawsuit in September of 2022, claiming Irizarry was paid to be a ghost candidate. When we talk about a ghost candidate, we usually mean someone who enters a race to try to be a spoiler candidate. They don't really want to win. They don't have any interest in winning, but they're trying to take votes from one candidate to throw the race to the other. Espinosa says Irizarry, a former Kissimmee commissioner in 2010 who was suspended from office for a domestic incident, agreed to run because he was having money issues. If you are in a financial situation where you have financial needs or you're financially distressed, you become the perfect target for anyone that wants to use you. And that's unfortunately what I believe happened here. FDLE arrested Irizarry on eight counts of willful certification of false or incomplete campaign treasures reports and six counts of deliberate failure to report campaign expenditures as required. When it comes to campaign finance law, when you're running for office, you have an obligation to report who's giving you money and how much, and then where you spend that money and how much you spend. Will Fonseca ran in 2018 for the same District 4 seat and says he was also a victim of a ghost candidate, but didn't pursue legal action. This is an ongoing issue. Um, me back then, I didn't have the resources or I just didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't, go, I didn't push as much as Jackie Espinosa is right now. And so now Irizarry is was released on bond. We did try to contact him, but could not reach him. It is important to note that Commissioner Grebe was named in the lawsuit, but she has not been accused of any wrongful doing. We did reach out to her office for comment, but we have not heard back. Live in Osceola County, Carolina Cardona getting results. News 6 back to you guys in the studio.